Here's a quick little meal for you. Um, got some sausage. This is uh, beef uh, kielbasa, Wilshire Farms. And I'm just chopping it up in little bite-sized pieces. So what I usually do is cut this in half and then I'll take this and cut that in half. Just cut like that, bite size. As much as you want. If you don't want bite size, don't do bite size. And then I have a pan right here with some olive oil. Sorry, with some olive oil. We're gonna stir this around. This I got on that big fun, one of the add-ons. <laughs> um, I like this pan a lot. There's a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna add some butter in just a second. Um, so let's finish chopping up this sausage. You can see, nice bite size, little pieces. Let's grab our already cut up bell peppers, green and red, whatever you like. And that was a half an onion, just in case you're curious. Let's grab some butter. Any kind of butter that you want to use. I'm using unsalted. So just grab this. Whatever I have here will be okay. Just doing the one-handed technique here. Because I just thought I would share. So here is uh, unsalted butter. And we're going to let that make our onions nice and soft, sweat them out. I'm gonna add some black pepper, garlic salt. Those are my staples. They should also be your staples. Some black pepper, just how much ever you want. Garlic powder. Not garlic salt. You shouldn't use garlic salt because it has salt in it and if you salt your food it's gonna be super salty. So a little bit of that. Mix it in the butter and it gives that butter a nice flavor. You like the sound? Easy recipe. Put it with some noodles, some rice, uh, put it on a piece of bread make a sandwich, add some marinara. You got yourself a little kielbasa sausage and peppers, little grinder, add some cheese on it. Oh my God, that would be really good. Our peppers will go in last because they wanna have a little bit of crunch. There you go. So we'll let these guys play around. Until they're done. I'll turn this up a little bit. But this butter is really going to add a lot of flavor. Make a nice sauce. If you're ever curious about how to make an easy sauce, comment down below. I can do a quick video on that. Nothing too fancy. Um, it's easier than you probably even imagine. You just have to have the right ingredients. How do you know the sausage is done? Well, it starts to get like a little bit of char or brown on the outside. Your onions will start to get a little browner as well. And you don't want to lose the sauce that's there. So there's just like a little bit of sauce. So don't let that dry out. But if it does dry out, you can always add a little bit of water to give it some more life. Okay, so that is getting brown. We 
going to just divide these guys here. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, the deal. Share if you can. Shoot. Send this to yourself in a message. Send it to somebody you know who likes to cook in a message. You know, there's a share button. The little three dots um, on the video on the bottom. It even says share on your laptop. Oh, there we go. Super easy. Let's grab the peppers. Let's throw them in there. Those don't even have to be perfect, but look at all the colors. That's it. That's it, guys. And if you're scared and you think, oh my god, I'm going to burn it. I burn everything. Turn it off. Once you put the peppers in, just turn it off. Put the lid on there. Turn it off. And then just let it sweat out. And believe me. You're going to love it. Okay, let me know if you have tried this and you like this video um, or this recipe, I should say. Let me know down in the comments, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.